Dota 2, not to be confused with Dodo, the now extinct flightless bird that hunters and sportsmen wiped off the face of the planet forever. <laughs> Dota 2 is a MOBA created by Valve Gabenologist for the home PC and exclusively available on Steam starting at the fantastic price of $3.50. Now, before you hop into one of the most confusing and rage-inducing video games of all time, it's important to get a general idea on what on God's green earth this game is about and how to play it. How not to be a noob in Dota 2. Dota 2 is the second installment, standalone version of Defense of the Ancients mod for Warcraft 3. Valve holding true to the capitalist agenda of taking community-made mods and turning them into empires, snagged the rights to this little gem with highly influential mechanical lawyers and released the game in 2013. Now aside from all this hipster history of Dota 2, let's get right into what the game is all about. Each team starts with five players and two ancients. Players navigate three primary lanes guarded by stationary towers that inflict high damage to enemy players and creeps that are automatically deployed to the lane. The players must go head to head in a battle for gold and experience in their respective lane. Players may get the kill hit on the enemy creeps to receive a bonus amount of gold and may also team kill their own creeps to deny the enemy players gold and experience. The final objective is to become powerful enough to push the enemy lanes all the way inside their own base, destroy the barracks that spawn the creeps, and eventually the enemy team's Ancient. When the Ancient is destroyed, the game is over. Ever play the old Command and Conquer series? Something like that. Except nothing like that. Heroes. In the current public version of Dota 2, there are 112 heroes. For the most part, each hero has three general abilities and an ultimate. The ultimate is received at level 6. The ultimate is the hero's best ability available. Due to the nature of the game, some heroes can be symbiotic with each other or even be a counter to each other. Imagine the most advanced version of rock, paper, scissors you have ever played. Or a game of chess where you can pick from 112 queens that all have abilities different from each other. Also, some heroes are more powerful at different stages of the game due to the nature of the stat scaling. So for the first 15 minutes, Hero X may have an advantage over Hero Y, while in the last 15 minutes, Hero Y is now the one with the advantage against Hero X. Finally, it'd be impossible to maintain an up-to-date guide on Dota 2 heroes since Valve is constantly changing and adding new heroes. The only way you can really fully understand every hero is by playing all of them at least once. That's uh, 112 games and 45 minutes a game, which comes to around 80 hours. That's right, 80 hours deep, and then, my friends, you'll understand how Dota works. That can't be right, seriously? 80 hours of Dota? Just to know how to play it? Who has time for something like that? Holy f I will include a list of Dota 2 YouTube channels that have general play guides for specific heroes in the description. Make sure to check that out. Due to the nature of Dota being a MOBA or multiplayer online battle arena, teamwork in Dota 2 is essential. If your own teammates die too many times to the enemy players, those enemy players will use the golden experience they gain from killing your team against you. These effects amplify as the game goes on, each death counting towards more experience and gold for you or the opposing team. Subsequently, it is essential to exhibit patience, communication, and teamwork to win. Dota 2 is a game where it doesn't matter how good the individual is, there has to be a level of teamwork, otherwise everyone loses. The map never changes in Dota 2 the same way a chessboard never changes. So let's look at what is going on and where. Fountains. Fountains rejuvenate health and mana and also provide spawn killing protection if the enemy team tries to attack you in it. Lanes. Safe lane or easy lane is a lane where the tier 1 tower is farthest from the ancient and closest to the creep line. If you are the radiant, it is the bottom lane here. If you are the dire, it is the top lane. Hard lane or suicide lane is the lane where the tier 1 tower is closest to the ancient and farthest from the creep line. For radiant, it is the top lane. For dire, it is the bottom lane. Finally, there's a mid lane that is equal distance on both sides. Towers. Each lane has three towers and each base has two towers guarding the ancient. The tier of the tower corresponds to the number it is in relation to your own base. 
So the first one's tier one, second is tier two, third is tier three, and the last set of two towers guarding the ancient is tier four. Shops. There are two side shops as seen here, two secret shops seen here, and the base shop located in each team's respective fountain. You can make purchases at the secret shop and have them delivered without actually ever going to it via the courier. Roshan. Roshan is a neutral creep located here. When Roshan is killed, he drops an Aegis of the Immortal on his first death and bonus gold every time. Once picked up, this item cannot be dropped or given to another hero. When the carrier of the Aegis dies, a tombstone spawns on the corpse. After 5 seconds, a hero respawns with full HP and mana on top of the tombstone, which consumes the Aegis. If the Aegis carrier does not die within 6 minutes of picking it up, the Aegis is removed from the carrier's inventory. The Aegis can also be cancelled the same way you cancel your own creeps to deny the enemy if it hasn't been picked up by any hero. Runes Runes spawn at the O-mark and every 2 minutes after for the duration of the game. They'll spawn randomly between these two spots. Rune bonuses are... Haste! When activated, gives the hero maximum movement speed for 30 seconds and prevents slowing effects. Invisibility! When activated, after a 2 second fade effect, gives the hero invisibility for 45 seconds. Invisibility is broken if they perform actions such as attacking, using items, or using spells. Double damage! When activated, gives the hero a 100% damage buff for 45 seconds. Cut. Regeneration! When activated, gives the hero 100 HP a second regeneration and 67 mana per second regeneration for 30 seconds. This effect will end early if the hero takes damage or if both their health and mana reach their maximum. Illusion! When activated, creates two illusions of the hero for 75 seconds. The illusions deal 35% damage. Illusion. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about the map. Captain's Draft consists of a team captain who drafts and bans heroes from the game. This game mode is currently the only game mode that is played during professional tournaments. Other game modes include All Pick, which allows you and the enemy team to pick whatever hero you want, Single Draft, where you can choose from one of the three randomly assigned heroes, Random Draft, where you and the enemy team pick from 24 randomly assigned heroes, All Random, where you and the enemy team are randomly assigned a hero and given a gold bonus. Also, once you reach level 13 in Dota 2, you can start playing matchmaking ratings and climb your way up the Dota 2 professional ladder via your MMR. Pro players are generally in the 5 to 6,000 range of MMR. Finally, let's look at some tips for Dota 2 to save you the hassle of a 72 minute loss. Teamwork like you have never teamworked a team before. This means exhibiting an unnatural level of patience and respect for completely anonymous online strangers whose name and avatar may or may not offend you. Buy a microphone. The year is 2014. Man has walked the moon. Herpes is cured. You have access to billions of bits of information at the touch of your fingertips, and yet here you are still using your keyboard to type in a game where communication and teamwork is key. Have fun! Don't be like me and waste 400 hours of your adult life in Dota 2 only to realize you are terrible and are never going to be a professional Dota 2 player. Try every hero at least once and have fun doing it. Don't give up! Dota 2 players, and more specifically, the youth of our society, tend to be an in-the-now gratification bunch. Like I said with heroes, some are late game. There's nothing more satisfying than taking a royal spanking for 25 minutes of the game, only to get turned on at the 30 minute mark and become a god amongst your oppressors. Now you know what the Karate Kid feels like. Also, please stop saying report it for every mistake I or your team makes. Gaben is too busy cash swimming in his vault like Scrooge from DuckTales to give a flying Friday about Little Johnny's early game Ricky throws. Now you have a basic understanding of what to do in Dota 2. If you learned at least one thing you didn't know during the video, please like it, subscribe for more free videos, and the rest you will discover for yourself or die trying. So this tale ends with a truly radiant victory.